I have a passion for time-lapse photography and specifically astrophotography with time-lapse at night, the night sky. Even better yet, I'm the holy grail to me, uh, not the day to night transitions that a lot of people call it. To me, the holy grail is Milky Way time lapse. Just absolutely fascinating. It's gorgeous. And, you know, just on that note, doing a, a time lapse in the evenings uh, with the night sky, when you say you're doing 30 second exposures, and if you're doing a video out of that, a time lapse, you need, say, 300 frames or 240 frames, depending on what your FPS rate is, if you're going 24 or 30, you're going to need roughly two hours or two and a half hours of time-lapse photography to occur in order to get a 10-second video clip. So that means that your photography equipment, your camera is outside in the elements, and it's out there for a, a fairly long time. Some of the problems that you have with uh, astrophotography, um, our big ones, are your focus, uh, because focus at night is very challenged to get pinpoint focus. And then the second thing is going to be setting up your camera gear and having everything ready. So it, you want to make sure it's weatherproofed, it's outside in the elements for a long period of time, and you're going to allow it to run. And, and honestly, sometimes you just don't know that it's going to be a clear sky. So I came up with an idea that I wanted to create a time-lapse astrophotography rig, and I decided to put it in a Pelican case that I highly modified. I did some cutouts in order to get the front lens through it. I put a camera body in there that I mounted that I didn't really care so much about. Uh, again, when it comes to time-lapse videos, you don't really need to worry too much about the megapixels and how large it is. At least I don't. I'm just happy with capturing a video, in which case uh, I'm, I'm a Canon guy. I've got a lot of Canon gear and I went with a 60D. It's an older body that I have that I'm still happy with. And I threw on a Rokinon 12 millimeter lens. Uh, that fisheye lens I think is great. Because of the crop sensor on the Canon 60D, I still was able to capture a very large portion of the night sky which is what I want because I'm not geared more on the nebulas. I'm more focused on the larger landscape shots, you know, with some foreground and some Milky Way, right? So I wanted to power it for a long period of time. And as you know, batteries don't do so well when it's cold out. And so I am doing a dummy battery pack in there using power banks. And there's some out there that are so great that they allow you to put two power banks and feed into an LPE6, or they call, call it a DRE6 in the Canon world, uh, for the dummy battery. And it allows you to even switch the power banks and the camera is still running while it's happening, which is like really awesome that you can do that. And then I wanted to have remote capabilities to view what's on the camera, focus on it, start the, start the time lapse, and not necessarily be near right at the camera. Maybe I would be in a, in a tent or in a trailer or in my house or wherever it might be while my camera rig was outside aimed at the night sky. And I ended up settling on the camera Cam Ranger 2, which is really awesome with its features. It plugs into the USB port of the camera and has full control and access over the camera, including the ability to start time lapses and focus and see on a preview, which is great, not just the little LCD screen on your camera, but on a much larger screen remotely, you can see exactly. So you can look for those pinpoint focus, awesome sharpness on the stars and make sure that you don't have any blurring or any star trailing or anything happening on your pictures. And you can also remotely download those pictures and take a look at them uh, remotely from your camera. So this is also powered by a power bank inside. And as many of you know, if you've done astrophotography, uh, you, want, you don't want to ruin your night vision. So it's all about using red light. I have red light for my headlamps. I have red light flashlights. Uh, I use red LED strips that I mounted inside the Pelican case in order to light up the environment while I'm trying to go and do all the adjustments quickly and making sure. And um, I wanted to make sure that it was somewhat weatherproof and I wanted to make sure that it had an Arca based uh, mount on the bottom of the case that was very stable so I could put it on a tripod of course and adjust it because typically your night sky is going to be aimed up or you know definitely way above the horizon and it's just something that I'm really proud of. I've been working on this for many months. It's an idea that I had for years and I'm super super happy with how it worked out. 
I hope you enjoyed looking at my creation of what I've created for my go bag uh, for astrophotography time lapse. Uh, really, I wanted something that I could just literally grab, go, plunk it on a tripod and start shooting right away. Uh, rather than having to do all of that setup, worry about the elements, worry about focusing, worry about uh, how much battery life I was gonna have. This was just something that's really enabled me to go further and have more time lapses, more astrophotography um, opportunities, and just make it easier. Because let's face it, a lot of us are very busy with our lives. We have many other things going on. And in many face cases, you're kind of juggling your, your passion for astrophotography with your family life, your spouse or your kids or whoever it is, and they don't always appreciate the amount of time that you spend on this hobby, so you want to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to just get up and running and grab those amazing shots that you're looking for of the night sky, or this is actually even very applicable for daytime astro uh, time lapse. So uh, something that I'm super proud of and I'm happy that it's come this far. Uh, I'm still doing tweaks on the, on the case and on the insides, but I'm really happy with where it's at right now and it's very practical for me.